Hello boys and girls, so today we're going to learn how to use models to subtract two digit numbers. We're going to use our place value and models to subtract the two digit numbers. So let's take a look at our solvent share. And we have questions. You have 42 pipe cleaners. You use 19 of the pipe cleaners. How many pipe cleaners do you have now? Use place value blocks to help you solve. Draw your place value blocks tell if you need to regroup so what we're going to do we are going to use our cube strategy let's look at c that means circle the key numbers so we are going to circle our numbers which are 42 and 19 now u stands for underline the question so we are going to see what the problem is asking for us to find so we are going to see how many pipe cleaners do you have now so before they had 42 but then they used 19 so we need to find out how many pipe cleaners do they have now that's the question so let's take a look at our b box any math action words so if we look at the action words now is an important keyword because they're telling us what the current situation is after using 19 how many pipe cleaners have left so that kind of giving me a clue that we have to use our subtraction strategy so we are going to evaluate our steps that means we are going to write our uh, equation and our equation is 42 minus 19 so we need to find the difference and difference is the vocabulary word that means we need to find which is an answer to a subtraction problem so let's take a look at here let me just fix that here okay and here we um, I'm going to write 42 so first we are going to line up our numbers so I'm going to put 42 like this and I'm going to put 19 on the bottom just pay attention how I align the ones place value numbers on one column and the tens place value on the other column now I'm going to take a look and this is my subtraction poem that is going to help me figure out how to solve this problem so let me take a look at here we always look at the ones place value so we're gonna take a look at both numbers I see that 9 is greater than 2 so that means we do not have more on top more on top means that the number that are on the top in the ones place value is greater than the, uh, than at the bottom place value so we see that that is not the case so we are out of this situation let's take a look at the next situation more on the floor you go next door and get 10 more so let's take a look here yes we have more on the floor that means the number at the bottom or the number at the floor is greater than the one on the top so more on the floor you go next door and get 10 more so that means we are going to take 110 from here so that they had four tens before now we took one ten away so and they are left with three tens and since we added the tens to the ones place value this became 12 now we can take away 12 minus 9 which is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 and you can see that we have regrouped look whenever we have more on the floor and we go next door we actually regrouped Okay, so this is the place value strategy that we have used to show the regrouping but they also want us to model the subtraction for this one so that means we need to use our place value blocks so we're gonna go to manipulative blocks and grab our tens first so we had 42 so I am going to show 42 42 has four tens 10 20 30 and 40 now I'm going to show the ones place value 41 and 42 the next step is to take away 19 and you can see that 19 has nine ones but I don't have enough ones here so what I'm going to do I am going to regroup this 110 
and I am going to change it into 10 ones. So this 110, I am going to regroup and use it for 10 ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So basically what I just did, I just regrouped this 110 into 10 ones. So I don't have this 10 anymore because I have exchanged or traded it for my 10 ones. Now it's easier for me to take away 9 ones out of it because the 19 has 9 ones. So I'm going to take away 9 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now I have to see how many ones do I have left. 1, 2, 3. So here I have 3 ones left. Now let's take a look at the ones place value. How many tens do we need to take away? We figure out how to find the ones. Now we need to take away 110 because 19 has 110 in it. So I have to take away 110 from here. So let's see how many tens do we have left? 1 and 2. So you can see that even by using the models and by using the place value, we got the same answer, which is 23 pipe cleaners.